It's one of the largest freshwater deltas in the world, the Athabasca River. Fed by mountain glaciers, this water eventually ends up in the Arctic Ocean. But before going there, it flows right past Alberta's oil sands. People who live downstream say this development is destroying the water they depend on. We used to play there. We used to fish. People used to... That's where we used to get our drinking water. For years, residents say they've been noticing changes in the river. And now researchers at the University of Alberta have done a study that backs up what they've been saying. Industry does add considerably to the pollutant load in the Athabasca River. Scientists looked for 13 different toxins in the river, including lead and mercury. The government and industry have always maintained that toxins in the river comes from the natural chemicals in the ground. But researchers say there's more toxins in the water after it's passed by the oil sands than in any other spot they tested. I think it's incompetence. I, I don't think it's deliberate. But the fact is that there is not appropriate monitoring done. People living nearby have complained for years about health problems. On the reserve in Fort Chippewan, cancer rates are higher than average. Marie Adams is part of a group that's fighting to protect the water. She has a message for any government official who says the toxins are natural. I like to see them take a drink out of the, from the river. The province says it's studying the scientists' findings, but people like Irene Martin say it's too late for that. Do you think the industry is destroying your way of life here? It already did. Many here have given up on the province. Researchers say the results of the study show the only answer now is to get the federal government involved. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Fort Mackay, Alberta.